what are you thinking tonight as you walk out of here? Well, I'm thinking that I had a good time for my eight years on the board. I'm really pleased with what I was able to accomplish you know, during my tenure, but you know, the, the board is more than any individual board member, and I think they will continue to do great work you know, with our new board members. So I, I go out with satisfaction uh, for my tenure, and I look forward to just watching uh, what goes on with our new board. Any advice for them? Well, I'll give them the advice that I got, as I, I, as I indicated. Ask a lot of questions, really ask to see the data, because it's really important that uh, you see what are the what are the programs that are working, not working, and it's really important to see the student data, you know, to see what the results are. And then you really have to just do what they think is the right thing. At the end of the day, it's really, you know, using your best judgment to really weigh competing interests and just, you know, go, go with their gut in terms of, you know, making informed decisions. What are you going to be watching as this board, the makeup of this board changes a bit? So, you know, I'll, I'll look to see the relationships because this is all about relationships and I think that's important. I think as they, the relationships they, the new board members have with our county council, with our state delegation, you know, because it's important that we, as they advocate for our funding for our school system, that's important. And I think really the leadership that they show to our superintendent, I mean, he's still only been here for a few months and really the kind of teamwork and collaboration that the, that the new board will provide to, to the superintendent because they really have to work together to create a common vision. They can't be about individual board members having their own agenda. They really have to come together as a team with the superintendent to figure out what are the programs, you know, and the initiatives that they support. Excellent. Tell me, what's next for you and will you run for public office again? I haven't really decided on that. So right now I'm just going to be taking it easy and, you know, got a, got a lot of things just to close, you know, a lot of loose ends in my own life that you know I'm just going to be working on and you know I've got plenty of time to decide whether or not I want to do something in the future.